This is OS X. Excuse me, Mac OS Sierra. The newest version of Apple's desktop operating system comes with a new name and, of course, a handful of new features. The biggest of these is arguably Siri, which has finally, finally made its way to the desktop. You can get to it either in the dock or the tray up in the top right. Either way, you need to hit the mic to get Siri's attention, at which point you can ask all the usual questions. Math problems, finding files, looking up sports scores, that sort of thing. What is 16% of 562? The answer is 89.92. You can ask Siri to narrow down the results. Once you find what you want, you can pin the results in the notification center or drag and drop them into a different app. Moving on, Sierra now has tabs in way more apps, including Mail, Maps, and the entire iWork suite. You can also store your entire desktop and documents folder in iCloud so that everything there gets backed up automatically. There's also a new optimized storage mode that frees up space by automatically moving seldom used files and already watched iTunes videos to the cloud. It also regularly deletes old files in the trash, clears your cache, and alerts you to duplicate downloads in Safari. Then there's a new picture-in-picture -picture mode in Safari and iTunes. It's, well, exactly what it sounds like. Hit this icon and you get a pop-out video that you can then resize and drag around the screen. It stays on top as you use other apps, and it disappears when the video is over. Some of the other new features will be on iOS 10 as well, once it comes out this fall. That includes a redesigned Apple Music and a beefed-up Messages app that includes larger emoji, so-called tapbacks, and rich previews. Meanwhile, the Photos app on both platforms has a new Memories feature that automatically groups related photos based on who's in the pictures and where they were taken. You can also sort your entire library by faces, as well as see related memories. Basically, a rabbit hole of vacation photos. Then there are the features I'm not able to test yet. That includes Auto Unlock, which lets you unlock your Mac with your Apple Watch. The final version of Sierra will also allow you to use Apple Pay on the web, provided you're using Safari and also own an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch that supports Apple Pay. Sierra will be available in a public beta starting next month, with the final version coming sometime in the fall. For now, this has been our first look.